one battery, but has multiple resistors, and we can't find an equivalent resistance of that. There, there is no such thing. We can't break this into series, parallel, and so on. So what we did is we set up circuits, and uh, uh, we got the equation. We have the current I here, and then we broke it up into I1, I2, I3. We have uh, overall four unknowns, so we have four equations. Now, then I asked you guys to simplify it, and uh, this is the simplified equation. Now, if you look here, the first equation already gives us automatically the I1. One of the things you could do if you wanted to, you could uh, calculate I1 from the, this equation, um, and you could put that I1 into this equation, into this equation, into this equation, then take this and put it to the other side, then you would reduce the number of unknowns. Then you would have only three unknowns, three equations, then you would solve that. You could either do it that way, or you could keep it like this, just write this as 0i, zero 0i2, zero 0i3. Zero you could keep it like that, and then just put it into the simultaneous equation solver, four equations, four unknowns. It doesn't really matter. One is not necessarily easier than the other. So now go to simultaneous equation solver. I'm going to go to uh, four equations, four unknowns. And all you do is put the coefficients of the unknowns. So I'm going to put 0, 10, 0, 0. 0, 10, 0, 0. And then 9 is what it's equal to. Then I'm going to put negative 10, 10, 10, negative 10 is equal to negative 9. Then I'm going to put negative 30, 30, 20, 20, and negative 9. You see? Then I'm going to put negative 10, 10, negative 10, 10, and negative 9. And then I'm going to say solve. And it just spits out the answers. That's fast. It's, it's that quick. What? Uh, it's called simultaneous equation solver. Uh, you can look under math or under applications. Which one do you have? TIAD? Okay, you might not have that. If you don't, check under applications. A, a, do you have a button called APPS, applications? If not, then you would have to download it from the online. Maybe you could download it for free. TI-89, I know, comes with it. AD, TI-86 and 85 come with it. But uh, some of the 84s have it. I've seen it. You have to download it into the applications. There's a button called uh, S-I-M-U-L-T for TI-86. You see sim Simult button? Simultaneous. On the TI-86, it's right on the keyboard. Okay? So I got I, I uh, is equal to uh, 1.8. So I is equal to 1.8, I1 is equal to 0.9, I2 is equal to 0.45, I3 is 0.45. So that tells us the current in here, tells us the current in each individual one. Now what was the, the, the original question was asking us what? The original question was asking us what is the equivalent resistance of this system, right? I mean, and since we couldn't really break it down into parallel series, what we did is we, we used Kirchhoff's loops, okay? Now what we could do is do this. We can say, if the current here is, the I is the total current of this, of the, going through the battery. So this circuit 
is acting like, let's say this whole thing is equal to R total, right? That's our total. So we could ask ourselves this question. What would our total have to be so that the current in this circuit is equal to the same current as I? OK? So if you have a 9-volt battery hooked up to some resistor, call it our total, what would our total have to be so that this current, I, is also equal to 1.8 amps, OK? So um, I can say here, R total is equal to 9 volts divided by the current in there, right? And the current in there is, we found, 1.8 amps, right? So what is that equal to? Five. OK, so our, our total is five ohms. So that's what we found. We found 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 across, 10 across. That's equivalent to a five. OK, now I could have given you not they're not all the same. For example, maybe on the test I would do that. I would give you 10, 8, 8, maybe 6, whatever, whatever. Say, what is our equivalent? Well, you'll do the same loops. You'll get the equation. You'll solve it. And you do it the same way. You say, well, what does our total need to be so that the current is equal to whatever we got? And then you find the R total that way, you see? So this is, this is a one way. Of, this is a way of finding the R total when you can't break the system into series parallel or any kind of combination of series parallel. Okay, you use uh, Kirchhoff's loops. Now the other times where you have to use Kirchhoff's rules is when you have more than one battery. You see, this one has one battery. But if I have more than one battery placed in different locations of the circuit, so for example,